Hi everyone, welcome to the Xander Effect. I'm your host, Xander Dames. Tragedy has struck the entertainment industry as one of TV pops, pop culture's uh, heartthrob icons, Luke Perry, passed away yesterday at the age of 52, surrounded by loved ones at Burbank St. Joseph's Medical Center after suffering a massive stroke that he was unfortunately unable to recover from. The actor played uh, Dylan McKay on the hit TV series Beverly Hills 90210, and he was loved and will be missed by many people, many of his fans, including the co-stars of the hit TV series, in which some of them have been talking to people and have been giving, uh, have, are finally speaking out after this tragedy. Uh, um, people like uh, Shannon Doherty, who also uh, recently passed, uh, went through a medical scare herself. She went through medical treatment for uh, breast cancer and has put breast cancer into remission. So she's doing well, but unfortunately this, this uh, tragedy really hit her hard, seeing as they were so close on the show. Um, they played uh, they played uh, each other's love interests. Brenda Walsh, she played Brenda Walsh, she played Dylan McKay uh, for much of that uh, show's run. She says, she basically uh, spoke out to people and said, I'm in shock, heartbroken, devastated by the loss of my friend. I have so many memories with Luke that make me smile and that are forever imprinted on my heart and mind. She continued, Luke was a smart, quiet, humble, and complex man with a heart of gold and never-ending well of integrity and love. Luke reached out to me during my cancer journey, and we picked right back up, albeit older and wiser, but that connection remained tact. Another another uh, co-star of his who also, uh, who also spoke out to people was Tori Spelling. She is the, she is the daughter of executive producer Aaron Spelling, and she also played Donna, on the on the TV show Beverly Hills 90210 she says I'm saddened for his kids whom he adored beyond words he was so proud of Jack and Sophie she continued Luke was one of the kindest and most humble human beings I've ever known I'm grateful for the years of friendship we had he truly was family to me a protector and a brother I'm so sorry for the loss that everyone is experiencing uh, also, another another co-star of his, Jenny Garth, who played Kelly, the other love interest in the later in later seasons. She says, "quote Met so much to so many, such a very special person. I I share my deepest sadness with his family and all who loved him. Such a terrible loss." Jason Priestley, however, he retweeted a uh, tweet from Ross Weston and quoted and said, "Thanks for this, Ross." Ross says. I've never had a bucket list when it comes to interviews. I just take them as they come. But this, this was a teenage dream come true at Jason underscore Priestley and hashtag Luke Perry are one of Hollywood's greatest duos. Luke will always be the coolest, kindest, and most charming guys I ever met. Uh, Ian Zirin, who played Steve on the show, posted on his Instagram account a picture of him and Luke Perry with him saying, Dearest Luke, I will forever bask in the loving memories we've shared over the last 30 years. May your journey forward be enriched by the magnificent souls who have passed before you, just like you have done here for those you leave behind. God bless. Give him a seat close to you. He deserves it. Gabrielle Carchetes, who played Andrea on the show, tweeted, Dearest Luke, I'm so heartbroken and at a loss for words. You, my friend, were a mighty soul and have left your mark. My love and prayers to the family and all who loved you, R.I.P. Luke Perry was uh, was a major heartthrob for for many people, for many girls at the time, um, and uh, many fans of his loved him when he decided to come back to uh, to to the small screen as. Archie's father on the hit TV on the hit CW TV series Riverdale. All of his cast members from there were also are also um, are also sharing their love and their thoughts with the family. Luke Perry, age fifty two, rest in peace. Hope your journey home is, was well received. In other in other entertainment news, Travis Scott deletes his Instagram page and then reactivates it. Here's the thing, Travis Scott 
And Kylie Jenner are having issues because Kylie says that she has found evidence of uh, Travis Scott's infidelity. Uh, so he decided, I mean, they've reconciled since, and he's trying his best to uh, try to make things better. But by making things better, deleting your Instagram account, I don't think that's the best course of action seen as you have fans on your Instagram account, and you don't want to lose fans. When it comes to entertainers, you never want to lose fans. You want to keep fans with you at all times. So him trying to prove a point, what point are you trying to prove exactly? I mean, you got to understand that when you decided to be in the public eye, you decided to be in the public eye. This is a choice you made from the very beginning. Now, that includes that includes your private life, unfortunately, which... You know, there are the you know there, there's a, that's an unfortunate fact because you're under a microscope all the time, but that's that's the life you chose to have. That's the life that you know many people choose to have. And in this case, deleting your Instagram account, Instagram account won't prove anything. It won't solve anything. And what you're doing is you are you may be losing fans that way. You don't want to do that. So. Good thing that he decided to reactivate it. Maybe he came to his senses. Maybe Kylie talked to him. Who knows? But his page is back to being active again. In other couple news, Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin still continue. There's still assumptions that they are having marital problems. Um, they are. They are currently, uh, from what from what I've been from what I've understood, taking uh, marriage counseling for their marital issues. But. Haley Baldwin's uh, uncle, Billy Baldwin, decided to, uh, to decided to put his two cents in saying that the couple should have waited more uh, a couple more years before getting married. And to be honest, that may have some merit in it because they are really young. They got married entirely too fast. Uh, I mean, I've heard of love at first sight, but in most cases, love at first sight ends up in divorce at first glance. So, so it's an unfortunate fact. And uh, but the good thing is that they're trying to work it out. Hopefully, they will be able to. Uh, I mean, their schedules are very, very difficult right now. Haley is modeling. She also has a TV show on MTV. Justin may be touring. He's doing music. Schedules are very difficult for the for, for the two, so it's tough for them to uh, to spend time together, spend a lot of time together. So they're trying to work it out. More power to them. I hope that they end up working it out uh, at the in the end and continue to stay together. In other entertainment news, new Joker trailer is out. Let me tell you, Joaquin Phoenix is an incredible actor, and if there was anybody that can actually give the Joker a sick, sadistic persona besides the legendary Heath Ledger that made that Joker unbelievably amazing in The Dark Knight, it would be Joaquin Phoenix. I'm sorry, Jared Leto. You did a great job. Don't get me wrong. You did a great job in Suicide Squad. But Joaquin Phoenix might actually give you a run for your money because he is an amazing actor um, I've seen the trailer. The trailer looks amazing. And here's a little bit of that trailer so you can be the judge. Wow. Talk about an awesome trailer. I'm looking forward to that movie coming out. It comes out. It's out in theaters October 4th of this year, 2019. In other entertainment news, there is a new Netflix movie coming out. It's called Triple Frontier. It comes out uh, and it stars Ben Affleck, Charlie Hunnam, who you may have known uh, from that played Jax in Sons of Anarchy and played King Arthur in the movie King Arthur, and Oscar Isaac, who has been in X-Men Apocalypse, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and in the upcoming Star Wars Episode Nine. Now... This 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 movie is is going to be incredible. It basically, from from what I gather from the trailer, it's about these uh, former special forces or Delta Force, whatever they are, with great skills in going into hostile environments and coming out without a scratch and quietly. These guys apparently they are 
they are disgruntled because the military didn't pay them enough, which is unfortunately that's something that uh, that's uh, that's some sort of a trend in our military, and they can barely afford to make ends meet, so they decide to go into the jungles, I believe, of South America because there's a drug pinkton, a, a drug a drug kingpin. Uh, that's a part of the cartel that has a lot of money, money that they want, money that they need, money that they feel they deserve. So without the approval of any of the government for them to go down there, they're going down there to steal this money for themselves. Check out the trailer. It's too late to walk away. Crash land here, we all die. Lose the money! Now that's another movie to watch. Triple Frontier comes out on Netflix March 13th. Now in sports, we have John Jones retained his UFC light heavyweight title, but it didn't come out of co- but it came out of cost. Excuse me. Uh, unfortunately, the Nevada uh, the, the Nevada Game uh, State Gaming Commission has issued. Uh, some sort of a regulation which states that because John Jones suffered injury during that fight, he needs to either get medical clearance or spend 180 days without fighting. So in other words, he's going to be off the shelf for 180 days unless he gets medical clearance. Johnny, 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 you're the champ, man. Go ahead and get that medical clearance. If it wasn't that big of an injury, so, so, you know, get the medical clearance, get cleared and let's have another fight. There's other contenders that are waiting to get that belt, so make sure you go ahead and get that other fight going. In other sports news, another tragic loss uh, in the wrestling world. King Kong Bundy, real name Christopher Pallies, dies at 61. Now, I'm a wrestling fan. I was, uh, I was, I'm an 80s baby, so King Kong Bundy was the villain of, of wrestling. Back then, it was called the WWF. And now it's called the WWE, and King Kong Bundy definitely had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of epic matches. One of which includes at WrestleMania two fighting the immortal Hulk Hogan for the heavyweight title. King Kong Bundy uh, retired from wrestling many years ago, and it is unfortunate that another wrestling legend has gone home. Uh, well wishes to his family, and I hope that uh, that they are that they are getting past this tragic loss. In other wrestling news, Tori Wilson to be inducted into the class of 2019 WWE Hall of Fame. Oh, Tori, girl, have mercy. That that woman is just drop dead gorgeous. She had many many epic, many many tantalizing. Uh, Fights against uh, Stacy Keebler and also Sable, uh, many pillow fight matches, <laughs> lingerie matches, and uh, she definitely is deserving of the Hall of Fame award simply because she was one of the icons of the Attitude Era in the WWE. So that's another well-deserved award for uh, for Tori Wilson. In NFL news, Nick Foles still looking for a place to call home. Nick Foles, right now, there was rumors that Nick Foles was going to go to the Jacksonville Jaguars, but the quarterback is still up for grabs. He Basically, there are sources that say that nothing has been set in stone, no contracts have been signed, so the former Philadelphia Eagle quarterback is still up for grabs. But Jacksonville needs to be aware that there are two possibly three other teams that are looking to sign the, the one of the biggest uh, free agents in the NFL right now and those teams are the Washington Redskins the Miami Dolphins and possibly the New York Giants honestly New York would be my guess that he would go to simply because they have been suffering they have been they had a really tough year last year and they're still they're still they're still suffering i mean Unfortunately, the Manning brothers, only one of them, uh, had, you know, a successful career. I mean, so so did so did so did uh, so did Eli. Eli had a successful career, uh, but unfortunately, not as su- successful as his brother Peyton. So it would it would stand reason that Nick Foles would go to New York, but as it stands, they're still. 
there's still no there's still no word there's still no word yet on where exactly Foles will end up stay tuned to that one in nba news lakers forward kyle kuzma is out for wednesday's game against the nuggets due to an ankle injury not that that'll make any difference because well the lakers aren't doing exactly the best in the world uh, they're not doing good at all uh, this season, and even Snoop Dogg went on a on a rampage on social media, basically <laughs> giving away his ticket for five bucks. That's how angry Snoop was. Not blaming LeBron James, however, uh, he basically sees LeBron James as the only one that's doing work on the team, but blaming everyone else. Um, he he went on a he went on a very interesting rampage. And let me tell you, it was <laughs> it was funny to watch and entertaining at the same time. Let's take a look at the weather. Coming up next. Well, the good news is it was sunny until the sun decided to say, just kidding, so now it's cloudy again. Dude, seriously, you really need to go more in depth on the weather. Like, come on, give us degrees, something. I don't know. Anyways. In video game news, Red Dead Redemption 2 has another new update that includes John Marston's Evans Repeater from the first Red Dead Redemption, which is great to use for long-range attacks and medium-range attacks. There is also a new free roam event called Fool's Gold, and if you log on this week to uh, this week, Rockstar has decided to give a care package to everybody that logs on this week. And if you go to your to your camp or to the post office, you will get 60 high velocity pistol ammo, 60 high velocity repeater ammo, two fire bottles, eight fire arrows, two jolly jacks, two potent horse meds, and one lake lore. Rockstar, you are totally trying to get people to like play your game, but in order to do that, guys these updates need to be a little bit better or hmm, I don't know, maybe make the video, make, make the multiplayer official, not just a beta anymore. I've been saying that make it official already. I don't know what you guys are working on over there, but you guys got to do something because there are other games that are coming up with updates that people want to play. And that's why you have seen a decline in your players, in your gamers on your particular game because you haven't really given them much. I mean, this, yeah, great. John Marston's repeater, yeah, classic, whatever. But you know what? Not good enough. You got to do more. Now, a new Xbox One Maverick. It's going to be called, actually, the Xbox One S All Digital Edition. Now, this Xbox One doesn't... It's, it's discless. In other words... We don't have to go anymore to like game stores or anything like that to buy your game on a disc. Now it's digital copy. Here's the thing. Microsoft is trying to uh, monopolize this. They're trying to make sure that you don't uh, go anywhere else but to the Microsoft store to buy your games. That's smart. I mean, it is a Microsoft console, so therefore it, it stands at reason that they're going to go ahead and want to monetize this even more plus discs to be honest they're they're they get scratched um you're not able to play with them anymore they they tend to skip and it's just you know it's just it's, it's just difficult to to maintain i should know i'm a gamer and so some of my discs always get scratched and i have to go buy new ones it's a pain it's a pain i'm telling you right now it's a pain so this could be a good idea at the same time, you know, the other reason why a lot of gamers, a lot of people bought the Xbox One is because they saved money on buying a Blu-ray disc player. So are they planning on also doing digital with, with Blu-ray as well? Which is not impossible. I mean, you have the app Voodoo on, on Xbox One where you could get the di your, digital, your digital, copy, digital copy from your Blu-ray and transfer it over to Voodoo. So... That that's that also stands to reason as well. Also, there are even talks, and these these are all rumors, but they're they're very they're hard rumors. Um, there are even talks of a Fortnite edition console. So all you Fortnite fans, you might actually end up getting a Fortnite console uh, for the for the new uh, Xbox One S uh, uh, all digital edition. 
the the other the other issue here is nobody knows how much it costs. Now there's been there's been people that want to pre-order it, and I believe there's a pre-order uh, starting in April that goes on into May, something like that. But no one knows the cost. They say it's cheaper. They say it's cheaper simply because there is no disc drive anymore. So they say it is cheaper for that reason. Who knows? We'll just have to wait to find out and see what happens. That is the news. In case you haven't heard it, I'm Xander Dames. Thanks for watching the Xander Effect. We'll see you next time. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching the Xander Effect. Now, if you like this video or missed one of my other videos, feel free to subscribe. And you can also go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for updates and occasional breaking news.